Good morning everybody, Rick here and welcome to a new devlog video. I woke up at 6 this morning feeling pretty motivated to work on my game and today I'd like to implement an inventory system for my game, which is something that I've never done before, but I'm ready to learn how to make one. I would also like to start implementing items in the game, which will be part of the loot that you can get once you defeat the enemies. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to get started and I'll try to get as much as I can today. got so far. Uh, right now it's uh, 10.35 so I've been working for about four hours and I'm very excited about what I've got so far. So the very first thing I did was to brainstorm some ideas about the inventory and this was the look that I wanted. So you have a part on the side with the current item that you have selected and on the other side you have all the, the items that you have in your inventory. So the idea is that all the items that you collect are going to appear here. Whenever you focus on one of these items, it's going to uh, appear here on the side on the current item and you'll have a description down here. I've added this add item button here, which randomly generates an item. And as you can see, it correctly appears here. I just added some fake items so that I could work with them. But as you can see, if I click on the add item, it generates multiple items and uh, according to the type of the item, the color changes. I'm very, very happy about that. I did some brainstorming and I wanna have different types of items in the game. So according to the color, you'll know exactly what type uh, of items you have here. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out so far. Now what I need to do is to actually link this part of the inventory to the other part so that you can actually have a description of the item and then I'd also like to have a way to sort the items uh, according to their type. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so it's uh, half past 12 and I've made quite a lot of progress on the inventory. As you can see here right now, I've worked on the current item. So you see a bigger icon of the item, a short description here and the name up there. So if I add some items here, as you can see, the very first item here is going to appear on the side. You have the name, the, the icon, the description, and I can add more items. For now, what I'm missing is a way to focus on only one slot so that you can change between slots. Also something that I've added is a way to sort your items. So if you go and sort items, they are sorted according to the type, so that's pretty nice. And uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go have lunch because I feel that this morning I've made a lot of progress. I started from zero and here I've got a somehow um, functioning inventory.
finally done for today. It's uh, almost seven. I've worked for um, four or five hours, I wanna say. So I have redrawn a little bit the uh, inventory and what I've added is this energy bar on the side because to each item I'm going to associate a certain amount of energy points and the idea here is that you can absorb the item so you can convert the item into energy points that you can use to perform certain actions within the game. So the idea here is that you can either keep your objects to craft other items or you can decide to disintegrate those items and absorb the energy. And so basically the items energy points are going to fill the player energy bar and I'd like to play around um, even visually with this uh, energy absorbing idea so that you see this bar going down and this one filling in in a nice way. I've also implemented this whole inventory system in the game so right now when you are in game you can just press a button and open your inventory. Right now whenever you defeat the enemies there's going to be some loot appearing. I've added the very first item of the game which is a chip. Um, which is going to be a basic item for crafting. So as you'll see here, you have something popping here on screen which tells you they've got one chip and if you open up your inventory, you'll see that it's here. I have chip up there, uh, the amount of energy which is only one. As I need to work on the energy bar here for the item, I'm possibly going to add some sort of ticks so that you know how much points it is worth. And then I have a description here, I just added ancient tech because um, I don't really have a lot of space here to add the description. And uh, yeah, right now if I try to use the absorb um, button, it works, but it still does not delete correctly the item from the inventory. So that's something that I still need to work on. But besides that, I have enough slots for a lot of uh, items and I can scroll down here and everything seems to be working uh, correctly here. And as you can see up there, the energy actually went up because I absorbed uh, the chip that I just collected. So overall, I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. There is still a lot to be adjusted here in terms of the design and also in terms of functionality, but uh, overall the loot is working, items are working, and now I can start adding more uh, items to the game. I've made it so that it's pretty easy to add new items. I'm basically working with an index system, so each item has a specific index, and by just specifying the index, all the information is stored within Godot. And I can control that pretty easily with export variables, so here in the enemy I can decide which loot I want to have by just changing the loot index, zero is going to be the chip, and other indexes will correspond to other loots. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's uh, devlog, and thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers, we're getting pretty close to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm thinking that maybe for 10,000 subscribers I may do a special Q&A video, so yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful, productive day, and I'll see you in my next video.